Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. I want to talk about Fandelver and Below, uh, the Shattered Obelisk, and I want to have a robust, spoiler-filled discussion of. Um, I have a robust, spoiler-filled discussion of Chapter Five, the second part. So the player characters have uh, listened to Gwyn Orsong, the Dwarven Sage, and she has led them towards Orzula's Rest, which is an old Durgar mine where the Sawpli goblins are led by Ruxathid the Chosen. And Ruxathid the Chosen is a very scary goblin. He actually has a huge, like, gem spike jammed in his head, um, which... You know, actually, you know, ion moon stones and crystals are part of what uh, help psionics control their powers and manifest their powers. But this one is disturbingly, literally, like jammed directly into his brain, which is really, really disturbing. And what the player characters, and then the player characters get in here. And one of the things that I was really, I was a little bit surprised about is how 80s this Fandelver and Below and the Shattered Obelisk is. There, there's just encounter after encounter after encounter after encounter after encounter. And the reason why is you're taking a player character from level 1 all the way to level 12, right? And the reality is this may be one of... If you run players through this, this may be one of the longest campaigns... And you make it through, this may be the longest Dungeons & Dragons campaign they ever play by far, right? Because most campaigns don't make it past six sessions, right? So this is, you know, for a patient dungeon master and fully engaged um, player characters who are, I think, mostly new to Dungeons and Dragons because a lot of these, you know, you're, you're fighting dwarven skeletons, you're fighting ropers, you're fighting very, you're fighting goblins, psionic goblins, right? And it's very interesting just the, the overall path that they do. But there's a lot of encounters and players are... The, and your players, if playing this, are going to get a mastery. Like they're going to understand how their spells work. They're going to understand how their powers work. They're going to understand uh, the action economy of Dungeons and Dragons. They're going to understand the gold pieces. They're going to understand what a Dungeons and Dragons setting actually looks like, right? What, how an American fantasy setting is really distinct from a British fantasy setting. Uh, and how Dungeons and Dragons is really anchored in American fantasy. It's very, very good, um, long, robust adventure. So, once the player characters get there, they d they discover the secret, which is um, Ruxathid, the um, the chosen, is not uh, is not their big bad, right? Their big bad is actually mind flayers. And these Mind Flayers are using Ruxathid, and they were using Kragmaw. They're using lots of... Um, they're actually puppet-stringing multiple organizations of evil in order to gather the Shattered Obelisk. Parts... <coughs> excuse me. Parts of the Obelisk um, are all over under Zorzula's... Under Zorzula's rest, right? And they have to... Um, you know, go through all these many, many dangers in order to, um, you know, they have to go through these these specific dangers in order to make it through and find each and every one of these shattered obelisk, uh, these obelisk shards, right? Shards of the obelisk. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are now getting a sense that these mind flayers are the real um, threat. Um, but that the Mind Flayers have an even bigger, grander, darker plan, which they still don't know, right? So so there's even clues that, you know, uh, they thought it was the Kragmaw Goblins. It, the Softly Goblins are more dangerous. Ruxid, the, uh, uh, you know, Ruxid, Ruxithid, the Chosen, is more dangerous than the Drow uh, Neznar, right? The Drow Mastermind Neznar, right? But all of these people are being controlled specifically by these Mind Flayers, right? And they have an even darker, more uh, frightening goal, which involves the gathering of the of the shattered, the shards of the obelisk, and the reassembling of the obelisk. Right, and it's very clear that once these mind flayers have this obelisk, 
assemble, they're, they're going to be able to trigger the next step in their evil plan. So that is the second part of Chapter 5 uh, that the players are going through with Fandelver below, the Shattered Obelisk. I'm really digging the read-through on this. Uh, have did, did you get this? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.